Okay, so today we're going to be looking at exercise eight, and um, this is the first video out of three that I will be recording for exercise eight. We're just going to look at sorting the transactions out into which journal. The second video will be recording the cash receipts journal transactions in the cash receipts journal. And the third video will be recording the cash payments journal transactions in the cash payments journal. So I'm going to record the cash receipts journal transactions in yellow and the cash payments journal transactions in green. So we have N. Ibrahim inherited a million rand from a very wealthy uncle. It was decided to invest 80% of the inheritance in a catering business. Ibrahim Caterers, receipt 001 was issued. So number one, we're getting given a receipt number that would go in our receipts journal. Um, we also have the owner putting money in to start the business. So that is definitely a cash receipts journal transaction. At yellow. Then we see sent check 001 to pay. Whenever we pay, that would go in the cash payments journal. There, cash payments, pay, CPJ. Day three, bought a delivery vehicle. Paid by check, 440000 If we're buying and we are paying by check, that is the payments journal. At CPJ. We have another transaction on day three. So we've got our first one, and here we have another one. Sent check. If we send a check, we are buying things. So that's going to be cash payments journal. Okay. CPJ. Cash received for services rendered. We are receiving money, so that is the CRJ. Bought materials. If we are buying, we are spending money. So cash payments journal. Drew a check. Hopefully you know if we are drawing a check. That is, we are buying, we are paying. Other clues are wages and donations. We're paying for that. So cash payments journal. Day 11, Westerford High School approached Abraham Caterers to cater for their annual matric dance. They quoted them, received check for the amount receipt issued. Now this is a slightly different transaction. We can see that we, the catering business, are going to be providing a service. So that is services rendered. We should be recorded in the cash receipts journal. That part we're all good with, hopefully. The trick here is that we see receipts issued. It's normally a cash register role. So all we do is instead of having our source doc CRR and under details writing um, services rendered, we're going to have a receipt number and we would issue that to the school. And that would be Westerford High School under details. Okay, so that's the first transaction for day 11. We have another transaction for day 11. The owner decided to increase the capital contribution. A check for the amount was received from N. Ibrahim. So the owner is putting more money in the business. He decided to increase the capital. Cash receipts journal. So that's going to be cash receipts. Woo, journal. Yeah. Yet we have a third transaction. There's a lot of things happening on A11. Part of the building is rented to N Valley. Received a check for the rent. So we are receiving money. So that is going to be cash receipts journal. So three transactions in the cash receipts journal on day 11. Day 15, sent a check. If we send a check, we are paying. So that's going to be our cash payments journal. Day 16, paid the wages. If we pay, cash payments journal. 
That's our first transaction on day 16. We actually have another transaction on day 16. We are buying things from Crimea traders. So if we buy and we pay by check, these are keywords that tell us that we are paying. Whenever we pay, it's the cash payments journal. Day 19, cash received for services rendered. That's going to be cash register. Well, recorded in the cash receipts journal. Receiving. Day 22, sent a check to VW Motors to pay for repairs to the delivery vehicle. So if we sent, sorry, that should be in green. We are sending money to pay repairs to the delivery vehicle. Hopefully you can work out. We're not buying a vehicle, so it's not gonna be recorded as vehicles. We are paying for repairs. That is gonna be vehicle expenses. So day 22, cash payments journal. Day 27, we are sending a check to the city of Cape Town because we are paying for things. So that's gonna be cash payments journal.